Hey everyone, EK Raps here uh, with a new project. So I haven't posted much on my YouTube. Um, you know, with winter, I don't really do much raps, uh, but I've been busy doing flips here and there. Uh, this one here that I have, it's another flip. It's a 2001 Mustang GT. Uh, so instead of painting a few panels, like the roof has some faded uh, parts. So there's a hood scoop and the front bumper that was replaced. Uh, so instead of painting it, I decided to wrap the entire vehicle, uh, give it a fresh look. Uh, paint is decent, but could be better. So uh, we'll be doing a full wrap on the entire car. We'll be going with the this uh, tech wrap. I believe it's RD19 color shift. Um, so I'm excited about this one. And you know, it's one of uh, our first flip slash wraps that we'll be doing, kind of combining both uh, my hobbies and. Uh, uh, side business here with the uh, flips and wraps. So excited how this one will turn out. Here is fairly clean. Um, it's a little dirty here. Some faded, but overall no tears. Just dirty. We'll be touching this up and uh, you know making this 2001 look as new as possible. And it'll definitely give it a a way updated uh, look with that color flip so excited how this will turn out especially since there's a uh, very limited edition on these body styles that came in uh, color shift paint uh, I believe it's called mystic blue and that's one of the reasons why I went with the color shift here to kind of resemble that that uh, color even though this one's a little different but I don't want to make it a, a complete copycat so Stay tuned and uh, show you what we come out with. All right, so here I want to show you guys the progress. Uh, that's how the car is coming along. We have a, uh, you know, mostly passenger side ready. I, I like to start on the passenger side because uh, the driver's side, it's used a lot more by the owner of the car usually. So I suggest usually start on the passenger side you know, if, if you make a few errors or it doesn't come out perfect, um, you know, it, it's not going to be seen as often. This isn't a customer car. It's a flip. So I really, I'm, I'm not looking for perfection. Uh, as you see here, the paint's not perfect, but you can see some imperfections here uh, that was left behind under the wrap. It's no big deal. It was scratch there. It's no big deal. This little ding not worried again it's a flip if it's a customer's car definitely be more attention to detail uh but we're just trying to make this car look better as paint original paint i'm assuming is not great um it's not bad but not great you see here it's already does knock this down a little bit smooth it out uh and wrap it you won't be able to notice it it's his scoop here we see that it's faded uh taking that off wrapping the hood scoop separate uh make it look brand new like it's, like it's paint but yeah this is a progress uh something i will say save all your scrap pieces this piece here i have the other piece right over here um oops so this was originally for the door I, I I ripped it as I was installing. I didn't want to waste a whole piece, so I, I threw it to the side, and uh, it worked perfectly for this this pillar here. Just trimmed it. Just have to stick it on, and and you know we're good to go. Uh, try not to waste uh, any material. Well, you will waste material, but try keeping it to a minimum. Uh, and something with chameleon. Or, or iridescent color shift, whatever you want to call it. Uh, most of it is directional. Um, check on the manufacturer, check on 
the specific material. But um, this one here, I'm installing it with the letters down. So that's just a mental note for me to keep. So I make sure as I go around, the letters are down because there's some materials that it does matter. This one doesn't seem like it matters too much. I don't really see a difference. Sometimes you can. So for example, this piece here would be green the way it is and this one purple, bluish. So just something to keep in mind uh, if you're doing color shift. I've seen jobs out there that it doesn't shift the way it's supposed to. It's obvious they installed it wrong. Uh, another thing I will point out so I put tape right under here so you can see. Uh, so this one's purple. It's uh, less less aggressive adhesive. The blue one is regular painter's tape. Um, I usually put the blue one on on painted surfaces or or uh, you know maybe like chrome bumpers, headlights, stuff like that that when I pull the tape off, uh, it won't peel anything off. So the purple one is, is uh, low adhesive. It's also painter safe, but it's, it's not as aggressive. Uh, let's see if we can see here. It's, it's uh, for delicate surfaces. Not sure if you could see it up here. It's delicate surfaces. I Again, I like to use that on, on the vinyl or like it says delicate surfaces. So I've, from experience, I've had is, uh, instances that when I pull the blue tape off, it'll either lift the vinyl I'm going to leave a lot of adhesive on the vinyl and, and tear you tear up the piece that I already, you know, put on there and I have to do it over. And, you know, if you're working on limited supplies, you'll have to order more and, and you know, you know how that goes. So just just a little heads up there. Um, tape definitely helps. It doesn't stick to the other surface that you don't want it to stick. Um when I was learning how to wrap, I, I always wondered what the tape was for. So for you guys learning, that's that's what it's for. It's low, low tack surface. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and install this. And uh, hey everyone, so going. we're back with the Mustang GT complete. So we have the uh, chameleon color wrap here. So it came out really clean. Well, looks great in the sun. You can see all the colors when the sun hits. And at the black wheels, uh, I'm not trying to replicate the Cobra, but I did put the Cobra emblems on the wheels since they are actual Cobra wheels. Did the black insert. Uh, I'm not sure what it's called for the Mustangs. I know it has a Berger panel, but 